Hello, I'm Vincent Creel, Public Affairs Manager for the City of Biloxi, and I'm here to deliver today's Be Prepared video report. We are recording this update on Good Friday, April 10th at 2 p.m. The latest from the Mississippi State Department of Health shows another jump in the numbers of coronavirus cases statewide. As of today, April 10th, statewide there are 2,469 positives. That's a 209 increase from yesterday and 460 new cases reported over the last two days. 82 people have died, which is an increase by six from yesterday and 15 over the past two days. In Harrison County, there are 99 positives, which is an increase by three over yesterday, and there have now been four deaths in Harrison County. The city of Biloxi remains under a shelter in place order and a nightly curfew. What does this mean? Travel should be only essential. No social gatherings, no one on the road after 11 o'clock. Mayor Andrew Fofo Gillich has announced that the city will extend its emergency staffing for another week. That means all police, fire, and emergency dispatchers remain fully staffed but other city departments are on reduced staffing levels. Employees should continue to monitor the city's info line at 435-6300. All non-emergency city facilities and buildings remain closed in Biloxi. Parks are open only for individual pursuits, that is walking or jogging and only from six until six. Please do not use the playground equipment or pavilions and no basketball or disc golf. The Mississippi State Health Department also released recommendations for all Mississippians to wear a non-medical grade mask or homemade cloth mask when away from your home. You can go to the Mississippi Department of Health's website to learn more about how you can make your own mask. Here's the address on the screen now. The coronavirus pandemic is now heading into the holiest of times, Easter weekend. Today is Good Friday, and joining me now is a native and a lifelong resident of the city of Biloxi, someone from a well-known family, not only in East Biloxi, but all along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. You're a former city councilman, and you're a friend of the city of Biloxi, and now the First Missionary Baptist Church of Biloxi pastor. Hello, Eric Dickey. How you doing? Don't Thank shake you. my hand. That's you're, right, you that's right, that's did. right, almost did. <laughs> Tell me right now in this pandemic, what are you telling your congregation? How has it changed your congregation? Well, for the most part, our congregation, along with the other congregations along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and throughout the world, has taken the measures from the health and elected officials, both state and national, as well as our local elected officials, to follow the stay in shelter, uh, the reduce in the gathering. Uh, so generally we have anywhere on a Sunday three to four hundred members with the two services so we have reduced that considerably to a live stream mm -hmm. uh, via Facebook and with some of our activities we're either done teleconference mm -hmm. call or Zoom USA so and that's what we've done uh, as it relates to you know Holy Communion many people have uh, we have done that curbside mm -hmm. uh, for, in fact, the first Sunday in the month we, we did the curbside as well as provide your tithe and offering since we have yet to done the uh, 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 app, the mm -hmm. uh, cash app. Let me ask you this. What do you tell the members of your congregation when they ask you, why are we going through something like this? Well, it's always been that question, where is God in the midst of this pandemic? Uh, and we always have to remind people, God is everywhere. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what he does is he gives us the strength, the capacity of resilience. Uh, it, it is no different than Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Camille, through the travesties of time. We always was resilient. We always, you know, took the necessary precaution. Uh, whether it's a pandemic or whether there's a storm, we heed to the uh, orders of the officials and we vacated, we evacuated. And to me, this is no different. You just evacuated to your home. And so in this sense, we ask that you turn your home into a sanctuary where you can still worship God in spirit and in truth. 
How has it changed you? Well, for me, for the most part, it's given me a lot of honey dues at the house because the <laughs> wife, she's working teleconference at the house and I'm having to do a lot of things. But, but for the most part, it has restricted me from making hospital visits, mm -hmm. uh, even in the untimely, as you mentioned, in the statistics of the death. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we are not allowed to even do a lot of the homegoing celebrations mm -hmm. for many of the persons that pass because of the restriction and so that brings about a little uh, struggle as it will, in terms of helping people deal with the grief mm -hmm. that comes with this and not to mention the fact that you're going to have a post-traumatic stress when this is you know mm -hmm. considerably you know able and over. And in East Biloxi, we have more churches per capita than Absolutely. anywhere in the city. So Absolutely. this must have been a, a huge disruption. It, it's very much so a huge disruption. Uh, we're taking place our seniors uh, and our youth that are used to going to church, uh, many of them uh, at least every Sunday uh, for worship and then now having to you know, stay at home. Many of our seniors do not have the latest technology in terms of social media to be able to watch. And so mm -hmm. we have to do everything we can to stay in touch with them by phone or by some other family member that can go there and touch and keep in touch with our seniors. Pastor, as this is Good Friday and we're headed oh, to absolutely. Easter Sunday, I would like for you, uh, this is an executive order from Mayor Gillich. By the way, do you pray for Felix Gines? Absolutely. He he's needs my, it. He's my, he's my counselor and my <laughs> member. <laughs> I would like for you now, uh, Mayor Gillich wanted to know if you could say a prayer certainly, for Biloxi certainly. in the community. Certainly. Oh, gracious Father, we even pause right now in the midst of this pandemic to tell you thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Thank you for your hand of mercy. Thank you for your hand of grace. Thank you for your hand of kindness. Thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins in many disobedient ways. And oh God, as we acknowledge, as we admonish, as we honor this day as Good Friday, that Friday when our Lord and Savior, your son, died for us on Calvary's hill, Lord, you placed him in the heart of the grave for three days. And then Sunday morning, people recognize it's Easter and our Resurrection Sunday. You got him up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. And certainly, Lord, we, we marvel at the fact that we're able to come and offer this citywide prayer. We ask special blessings right now upon our mayor, Mayor Gillich, and the seven council members and all the citizens of this great city of ours and the communities that are surrounding. Lord, we ask that you would continuously bless all the uh, emergency uh, officials as well as our employees who are the first responders, others that are having to lay by and wait for those uh, unprecedented calls. And we just ask it, oh God, that you would give them the strength, the courage, and the safety as they go and administer to the needs of your people. We ask it, oh God, that you would bless each house that's represented in our city and our community. Bless now those that are normally used to coming to your sanctuary but unable to, that recognize that your presence alone within our heart is just as great as being in a facility. We ask it, oh God, that you would continue to lend this hand, that we will continue to spread your gospel through social media, live streaming as we are doing even now, Lord, that your hand of mercy will continue to supply all our needs in our time. Lord, we ask special blessings upon our health officials, those doctors and nurses and technicians who are putting their lives uh, at risk to administer and serve those that are sick and those that have uh, been tested positive, Lord, that as they come in contact, Lord, that they are protected. And we ask, oh God, all that they do, that you would get the glory and the honor and the praise. These and other blessings we petition in your son Jesus' name, for it is his prayer we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. That was Thank perfect you, for our Good Friday service. Absolutely. We bless the Lord. Thank you. Okay, okay. We leave you now with another special moment. It was in 2011 on the sixth anniversary of Hurricane Katrina on the Biloxi Town Green. Ronnie Broussard, the local actor, entertainer, director, producer, and a makeup artist to the stars. He debuted a new song, 
that he had just written and it talked about Biloxi's challenges, all the challenges we faced after Hurricane Katrina. It's called, I want to come home. And when he says home, he means Biloxi. Mayor Holloway said his wife Macklin cried for two days after she heard this song. I have a feeling we're going to get a tear, out, get of, a tear, we're gonna get a tear out of Mayor Gillich today. We'll see you here soon, and as Mary Gillich likes to say, God bless you and God bless Biloxi. And now, Mr. Ronnie Broussard. Mm -hmm. go home I want to put my feet back on the sand I want to go home to the only place I can understand and while the breeze cools my face I can watch the seagulls racing high above me go home I know now that you're my best friend I feel you calling me just like the tug of a mother's hand I'll be safe I'll be warm when I get home to you Biloxi bring on Thank you. 